Hello again, just a quick tutorial on how to make a cave system for Unreal Engine in Blender. Um, this is just a third person example tutorial project. And I've cut a hole in the actual landscape. It's just a standard landscape with a starter material on it. To be able to cut a hole in, you need to add this node into your material. And you need to have this set on mast, obviously, to get the opacity in it. And then when you go into your actual landscape, you go into scope, you get visibility, you can cut a hole in it. And then I'll just cut a hole in the side of the hill. And then with the hole in the side of the hill, you need the obviously the geometry to make the actual cave system. And this was made in Blender. You make it any size you want. Obviously, I'll just made it quickly just for demo purposes. And it's just got one um, the starter rock material placed on it at the moment, just for, again for testing purposes. Yeah, I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes showing you how to do this in Blender. So here we are in Blender. Um, Obviously, just a totally blank project. So we'll leave it there. So we're going to add, and we're going to add meta balls. So it's meta ball here. I'm going to start off with a capsule one, and then I'm going to double it in size. Actually, um, just scale it up by two, and then I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to lock it to the x-axis, and then I'm just going to move it out. And as you can see, they stay merged. So when you get close, they merge. So you're just going to duplicate them and just bring them along to start making your tunnel now obviously we're going to want the tunnel to go down so i'm just going to select these three if i could press the right button and then probably have it level out a bit Cursor to selected, put the cursor in there so it rotates at the cursor point instead of trying to go back to the origin point. Right, so that's the start of it. So now I'm going to go to top down view. So now if you wanted to make a branch, you could simply just duplicate it, rotate it on the Z axis. Let's right, say so you've got an automatic branch. And if you wanted to rotate in the center, just cursor to select it, and then you'll be able to rotate it as in one you want. Want to select them all just for speed. obviously gone off on the height it hasn't quite joined here correctly I'm just going to lower these two looks better I mean, obviously, it's, this is far too neat for a cave system, but I am just showing you what you do. It's the circles you need to select, not the mesh. And you just keep on going like that. And then if you wanted a different shape, you can obviously just add you can just add a different one let's go back to metal ball um, probably do a cube scale up like say 4 so you can have a boss room 
can't see the circle, just go inside, grab it, and then you'll be able to move it around uh, if you get the right circle. You could have selected it out the window as well. Probably too big enough. So once you've got your layout and you've placed everything where you want it to, just select everything, right click, convert to mesh, and then you've got your mesh. That's there. Obviously, it's not UV unwrapped at all, but this isn't a UV unwrapped tutorial, so I'm not going to show you that. Then you would need to cut a hole in this end. So you would do it however you want it, depending on the shape that you want it. I tend to go on an angle because then it's easier to fit into the landscape. You might want it straight. A couple of other last things that you might want to do is make your life easier you can flatten the entrance to make it easier for when you take it into unreal engine so you can pick any section that you want obviously you don't want that part in there or that part so when you get the part cursor to selected scale zero on the z-axis and then it'll flatten that actual entrance You can auto unwrap it as well if you wanted to. I mean, choice is yours. Uh, and one other thing that I would personally do, because I hate double sided materials for performance reasons, is I would add a solidify modifier and then just apply it on the default. And then it'll actually have a slight thickness to it so that it won't need to be double sided. You know, obviously, you can flatten any part of it. You may want to remesh it as well. But manual remesh is the best way to go. Okay, that's it for making the cave in Blender. Now you just export it and import it into Unreal. Have fun. See you next time.